So it all started one day. I got a text from my girl from Kayla. She sent me a picture of some dude that caught a, like a five pound bass. And I was like, well, you're gonna have to tell me where he caught that, obviously, because you wanna know where you catch big bass, right? So she sent me the location of the pond. And obviously I'm like, wow, they actually gave me the location of the pond. That doesn't happen too often. So then obviously within the next week, I was going on a bike ride with my family and we were just biking around town. And I was like, hey, uh, can we go stop by this pond real quick? I wanna check it out. So I first got up to the pond and it was like super weedy and I was like, this doesn't look like that good of a pond, honestly, but I was like, I'm still gonna give it a try because I know that a big bass was caught out of it. So then about a week later from scoping out the pond, I went back there with the frog, obviously, because with all these weeds over the top, the only logical choice of bait would be to use a frog. So a lot of time went by, we really weren't catching anything. I went with my brother and one of my friends. We were, all three of us were there hammering this pond, walking around the whole thing. And we weren't really catching much. Then out of absolutely nowhere, a bass just came up and hammered my frog right through the thickness of all these weeds. And this is the catch. That was so sick. Oh my lord, dude. He's in that thick stuff. I mean, it feels like a good one, but he's also in the thick stuff, so I don't really know. Oh, that was so sweet, dude. <laughs> I really hope you guys saw that. Oh yeah, dude. That's a nice one, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's the freaking toad, dude. <laughs> dude, that's a huge one on the frog. Oh my gosh, look at that big one. Three pounds, seven ounces, dude. Look at that, that's a freaking monster. It's my biggest frog fish ever, holy crap. That was insane, I got this guy a huge blow up on the frog. It's a three pound, seven ounce fish. That is a huge bass right there. Holy crap, that was insane. He's somewhere where he can swim off, there he goes. And this bass ended up being one of the biggest bass I caught all year. It was three pounds, seven ounces. So it was an absolute tank, at least here in Michigan. We don't get too many big bass around here. My PB is only four pounds and seven ounces. So then obviously I was pretty excited to go back to that pond because I, I was thinking, I was like, if I go back next spring during the spawn, these fish are gonna be even bigger. So that's exactly what I did. So about a year went by and it was now like early April of this year, 2021. And I went there for the first time for the season after the ice has melted. It only took me about five minutes until I landed my first bass there. And it was an absolute stud. And after this, everything just began to snowball. Big fish after big fish after big fish. I was catching three plus pounders on the daily there. Anytime I go there, within the first few casts, I would catch a fish over three pounds. So a few weeks later, the spawn really started to kick off and I hooked into my biggest fish that I caught all of 2021. And here it is. Oh gosh, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. No way. Oh my gosh, guys. I knew there was big bass in here. He absolutely crushed it. Oh my gosh, that's a tank. Dude. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> that is a stud, guys. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? That's probably close to, that's like three and a half, dude. All day of the week. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Would you look at the size of that fish? That is an absolute stud. All right, the scale's up and running. Four pounds, two ounces, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, my new biggest fish of the year, dude. I'm absolutely crushing these bass this year, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. Absolutely no way. I'll try to catch some more, dude, no way. So that fish weighed a whopping four pounds and two ounces, and it is still my biggest fish of 2021. So then after this, the rest of the spring, I was catching more and more big fish. I'd go there basically twice, two to three times a week because I'd be catching so many big fish, like how could I not go there? But when the weather started to warm up and the spawn started to cool off, I began to catch a lot less fish there. And, be, and by the time like mid to late summer, I don't really catch any more fish. I, I think the last time I caught a fish there was in like August or something. So it's been quite a while since I've caught a fish in that pond. But I'm super excited for next spring. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I think I could possibly catch my PB there next spring. So if you guys enjoyed this type of video, like sort of a short film edit right here, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, stay tuned until next time on Bass Bros.